here. Grow. Please keep growing. I hope you guys all had a great weekend. I wanted to make this video, A, before I forgot about this incident, and B, before I heard back from their customer service. So for my weekend, I had a pretty fancy event to go to, and I decided to use the service called Rent the Runway. If you have not yet heard of this service, it's basically a website where, rather than go out and buy a dress for a couple hundred dollars, you rent it, and the best part about it is they send you the dress you ordered, and they send it in a bag that you can then return in the same bag, so you don't have to worry about boxing it or paying for any of the shipping. And what's really nice about it is they send you the size you originally ordered and then one extra size, usually one size up, just in case that designer runs small, or, you know, just to be on the safe side because they don't send you your dress until the day for the event. And when you order you know, your dress for the event, you click on the calendar, what day is the event, when would you like the dress delivered, and when are you returning it? I think it's typically a weekend, so I received mine on Friday and returned it on Monday. So, this seems like a very good idea. I say let's try it out. I had a little bit of credit with this website uh, for my birthday because I had used them once before and they were fine. So, Friday comes, I get a package on the doorstep, says rent the runway, pretty standard, get kind of excited. Uh, go and run errands, come back, end of the day. So it's technically 24 hours until the event. And I open up my Rent the Runway bag, and inside was one, the dress I ordered, but not in the right size. It took like the smaller of the two sizes. But I got one dress, when you're supposed to get two of them when you ordered. So I got one dress of the one I ordered in a smaller size, and then two other dresses I have never seen, never ordered in larger sizes. And it's like the day before the event, there's nothing they can do. I don't even try to contact them. They're not going to send something on a Saturday afternoon. So I thank the Lord I made good eating choices. I was able to squeeze into the smaller of the dresses that I actually did order. And I haven't Sorry, and I didn't email them back during the weekend. I'm waiting until this week just to say, hey, my name's Kristen. Here's my, you know, my receipt, because I save all receipts. Here's my receipt, here's what I ordered, and then I took pictures of the dresses that arrived, and then on the hanger they have like the uh, scanning numbers. So they can clearly see Kristen did not get what she ordered. And I don't want to send a mean and nasty email because that's not what I'm about. That's not how I want to be perceived as a customer. But when your slogan, sorry, this sounds out. When your slogan and your customer service, you know, are your big points of why we should use you as a service, and they send you the wrong dress. Like the whole point of this is, you know, you're in good hands, kind of like all state. Your good hands will take care of you. You just send us what you need, when you need it, the size you need. We will take care of the rest. And these are not cheap. I mean, this order was over $100. So I will be sending them just an email. Hey, just want to let you know. And I'm not asking for a reimbursement. I would actually be very, very satisfied with like a future, a free future order. If they could say, you know, it's our bad. You know, we hope your event still went well, which it did. It did go well. I just, I'm curious to see, and I've never documented it on YouTube before. I've never documented it before. I want to see how this company reacts. So, at this point in time, they have not yet received my email with my photos yet. But I will update this video. I'll keep it all as to one video because that'd just be a saga. But I'm going to email. I'll let you know what they say. Uh, again, I'm going to keep it very nice. Um, once I have it written and sent, I might just keep a copy so I can read what I wrote versus how they responded. And I never read any of the fine print. I highly doubt there's fine print that says even if we mess up, we don't do anything. I don't think customer service works that way. But we shall see. Um, I still do enjoy Rent the Runway. I think they are a great concept for girls rather than going out and buying a big expensive dress. Rent it. Rent it. It saves me the hassle of like calling up friends 
then it saved my friends the idea of buying and returning because I've seen a lot of kids my age do the buying and returning game. But anyway, I am driving off to work and I will keep you guys updated on this little Rent the Runway customer service experiment. That's what we'll call it. All right, until the next update, bye. Good morning, it is a few days later and I wanted to give you guys an update on my little Rent the Runway situation. I did send them an email kindly explaining, you know, here's my name, here's what I ordered, here's my actual order number to make it easier for you guys, and here's what happened. And I told them I did not request um, a refund, I just requested credit for a future purchase. Um, they were very quick to respond. I think in like the first few hours I got a response and it wasn't automated, it came from a person, which was very nice. Thank you for good customer service. Um, they said they were very sorry. Um, they said they looked up in the records and the larger size of the dress I had ordered was not in rentable condition. And the stylist at the last second must have just thought, you know, we don't have the time, let's just throw in some other designs and see if she likes them. And she said, you know, we try to do that just to see if that would work out, but if this is not what you ordered and you are displeased, you know, let us know, we will refund this. Um, she did say they were not able to give future credits, that's just not how their policy works, but they are able to refund you. And I looked it up and it was like $112 for the four day rental, shipping, all that jazz. So I emailed them back and I said, you know, thank you for letting me know. You know, that's okay that you guys can't do what I originally wanted, which was just a future credit. <clears throat> but here's my number for my order. And if you guys could refund that, that would be great. Thank you guys for the honesty. I do like working with you guys. I just needed something different in my order. And Within an hour of me sending that, they refunded me. I got a little receipt that said, you know, in the next three to five business days, your account will get, you know, X amount of money refunded, which was nice. Overall, very good customer service. I highly recommend them. If you are looking for somebody to rent a dress from for a big event, they do like the shoes, the, I mean not shoes, they do jewelry and purse accessories. I am not sponsored by them. This is just a service that I enjoy and, you know, this is the week that I needed really good customer service. I didn't need things to go my way, because I didn't, but I just needed good customer service. I'm a little bit impatient this week. I'm doing one of those like green smoothie detox cleanses with some friends of mine. So when you are emailing people on, you know, touchy subject matter, and you also are eating complex carbohydrates, processed sugars, or any of the other fun things in your life, and you're living off of like greens and vegetables, your body is not liking that for the first few days it's a little rough but overall they didn't know I was going through you know garden hell so they were, they were nice about it um, other customer service updates because you know I wait till the week that I'm detoxing my body of comfort foods to you know email people I tried to cancel my gym membership for the end of March I had gotten like a trial for them for this month and of course they say when the trial's over we automatically just sign you up because that's how gyms work and i had let them know that you know i enjoyed their gym but i was not going to become a member please take me off the list and the gym was like oh yeah you must not have read our fine print um even though you're not an official member yet you signing up for your like fast pass trial makes you a member which puts you in our liability to need 30 days and I said, well, if I needed 30 days to cancel, I would have had to cancel before sampling your service. Is that really, you know, the kind of business you want to put out? Oh, well, that that's just how our policy goes, ma'am. I didn't write it, I just have to follow it. So, right the runway had great customer service, but my gym, who I will not mention, they, they did not. So I'm gonna keep my membership and pay another 40 a month. $40 a month for a gym membership is actually pretty high when there are other gyms that let, like, I could get a gym pass for my boyfriend and I for 40 a month. This place is 40 a month just for me. So I'm thinking if I do get another gym membership, I will get one for he and I. It's a lot easier to work out when you have a workout partner to keep you accountable. But um, those are my thoughts. 
on customer service. This was just supposed to be a Rent the Runway discussion, but I guess I'll throw in my gym membership customer service as well. I mean, if we want to go full circle, I had big three customer service calls. Rent the Runway, my gym, and of course, new homeowners. I did not want to get insurance on my appliances because I was like, that's more money that I'm already paying for my mortgage and my fees and my taxes and all that stuff. And my parents are like, no, you need to get insurance because what happens if your water heater runs out or your air conditioner runs out? I come from the world of renters where of course that would be paid by my landlord, but not in the world of renting. That would be my job. So my parents convinced me, and I mean, they convinced me. I did not want this to get a 12 month like warranty when I signed my mortgage and lo and behold, I've lived in this place for just under four weeks and my dishwasher decided to stop draining. Fun. Um, and rather than pay somebody, you know, the $100 an hour for labor plus parts, whatever, I, I know it would be a lot of money. I got to call my home warranty and for zero dollars, because I've already paid for the whole year, the whole 12 months of the warranty, I'm going to have this man come out and he's going to fix my dishwasher and whatever parts, maintenance, labor are required, they are covered in my warranty. So, moral of the story, listen to your parents. They know more than you do. That's the end of that story. <laughs> I guess that will be the end of this little car discussion. Let me know down in the comments who you guys have been dealing with in the terms of customer service. I've watched some of your videos. Like I watched a bunch of girl talk about her Kindle situation, which I thought was brilliant. Sarah, you can really be a lawyer if you wanted to. That was just brilliant. Uh, but yeah, if you have any customer service stories that you want to share down below, leave me a comment. Other than that, I will see you